Cruise ships and private planes finally heading to Puerto Rico. Monday, the race against time to deliver food and water and save lives. All in the next Good Day LA. We are one more. Hello, goodness. I'm here on the idiot box because for the second time in a fortnight, the NFL is making its home in the old smoke. Should be quite the kerfuffle today betwixt the Saints and the Dolphins at Wembley, it should. I know I'm in good form about it. Drew Brees is a straight corker, mate. Play action, what a throw. He's up that one. Jake Cutler, meanwhile, is no numpty himself. There you go. Touchdown, my own. I'm chuffed to bits about these two going head to head. Spawny day it is. We pause no time for either of these clubs to wag off. And you can bet they'll be knackered after leaving everything on the pitch. Sure, my understanding of the British language is damn squib. Bob's your uncle. Enjoy the match, blokes. It's time for a little football to break it. Live from London, Adrian Peterson and the Saints meet Miami. The team led by a guy who two months ago was scheduled to be in the broadcast booth for this. And now Jay Cutler's talking about the Dolphins trying to get their second win in three drives. The NFL continues its London series with the second consecutive game in the United Kingdom. And the kickoff from Wembley starts off with an early double dip of the NFL on Fox. In fact, later today, Dak Prescott and the Cowboys the class with the Big Wise Rams. While Tom Brady and the Patriots collide with Cam in Carolina. And Matthew Stafford's Lions will match up with Minnesota. We'll be with you every step of the way right here on the Billboard Top Fox NFL Sunday pregame show brought to you by the official truck of the NFL. Come on in and stay a while, folks. I'm Kurt Menke. Thanks for spending your early Sunday morning with us. And thanks to Will Forte for this morning's opening. He stars in season four of The Last Man on Earth, which premieres tonight at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Only on Fox. Now, Holly and Michael, I'm sure they're sleeping in the same boat and tight. Jimmy and Terry, they'll get up every morning at 3 o'clock, so this is no big deal. But here, Chris Carter, the Hall of Famer. You can catch him on First Things First on FS1. What time's that on? 6.30 a.m. Eastern time. Eastern time. 3.30 in the morning out here. So this is sleeping in for you. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> you going to be able to roll through this, no problem? No problem. Let's do it. I guarantee you, Howie's up right now saying, you know. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Howie's my guy. Leave Howie alone. <laughs> Trying to start something is too early for that. Hey, all right. Let's not trivialize what so many residents of Florida have gone through over the last 21 days. But it's been a unique three weeks to start the season for the Miami Dolphins. You may remember that back in week one, their home game against the Bucks was postponed because of Hurricane Irma. Well, then the team endured a grueling travel schedule from that 